in focus three, we are going to begin manipulating and creating global objects for our graphics dis and displays. So the first step is to understand what global objects do. And global objects are basically a library of graphics that can be used for more than one display. So we could use this specific global object in multiple displays of our project. So we're going to build, and I'm going to go back to split screen view here. We're going to be building this global panel, this main panel that I talked about when we were importing. Um, the benefit of having a global object for this panel is we can use this exact same panel and format in multiple displays. So our main display, our control display, our PID display, our plot data display, all four of those tabs that we can click on will show this exact same panel view. And then the only thing that's different is what we incorporate into each midsection of the display. So to get started, we're going to create a new global object. And at this point, I'm just going to go to full screen so we can see everything that we're adding. So this is our full resolution object. Now we're going to be adding a panel. So notice we have a panel across the top. We can go ahead and change that color to whatever we want. Hit apply, hit OK. So now we basically have that panel. that's going across the top there. So we just need to create the other two panels um, using the exact same steps. I'm going to just copy and paste. That will be my mid panel. My bottom panel is going to be a little taller. So there's the bottom panel. So now I have my three panels in my global object. So size them so that they line up. Next we want to add text to our panels. So we can go ahead and go up to the global object toolbar and you should see a little text icon like here. We can add text and I'm just going to add, call it my new runtime. I'm going to make it bold, make it a little bigger, um, and maybe make it white. I'm going to make it bigger yet. Okay. So there's that text. Um, I'm going to italicize it as well. So there's the my new runtime text. Or I did uh, my controls runtime in this application. Then we could also add, if we wanted to, um, and I'm just going to copy and paste, but this could be my company name or trademark or whatever you want to show on the front panel for the application. So remember, in any of the screens that we want to navigate to, we want these options to always be there for us. So 
Um, next, we're going to create a time and date display. So go ahead and select the time and date display from the menu bar and then place it in the center. Again, we're going to want to maybe change the text. We want the color to probably be that gray. I'll hit apply so we can see. I need to select the darker gray. And then we don't want a panel, so the border style I'm going to do none. And then the text, I'm going to size it to about 16 or 18. And now we have our date and time display on our main panel. So all the pages that we have set up for displays will all have the date and the time, the name of it, and the company name shown at the top in this banner. So next, um, we may want to have a shutdown button in that top banner. So to make the shutdown button, we can just add it from the control organizer up here. So the shutdown button is this icon right here. We're just going to make a button to the size that we want it. And we are going to actually go select an image under the label category for that button. And we're going to go into our library because we already have a shutdown button in our graphics library. So we can add that button, hit, a, hit apply. And we also have to do image scaled. Hit apply. That will scale that button to the area that we had picked. We see our blue back color that's bleeding through that button. We're just going to select gray. And I think that's the back color we need to change. Yep. And then we'll get rid of that raised panel. And hit OK. So now we have a nice power button to shut down the HMI when it's running. Next, we need to create the um, go to display buttons that switch between the displays of the runtime the displays that we're going to make in the future here. So the first thing we'll do is find the go to display button. These are momentary buttons. These are different types of buttons. But what we need is the go to display button which is right here. So we're going to click that, make a go to display button change the colors again so that it looks good the label in this case this one's gonna be the main button and we want the text on the right so I'm just gonna do main text on the right will make it bigger like 22 make it bold um, so now we have our main button I could probably just center that for now. Once we add an image, we might have to adjust the text, but I'll show you how to do that next. So we have our main button. Now we basically have the same go to display button for each of the different controls. So I'm just going to take that main button, copy it, and paste it.
three more times. And we can select each item by holding the control key. And when we select the items, we have the ability to space them horizontally. That'll even the horizontal spacing. And we can also space them vertically, which will match them all in line vertically. So we have all of our buttons there. Now we just need to change the names to control, PID control, and plot data. So we'll double click this button, go to the label, and call that one control. I'm going to call this one PID control. And the last one is plot data. So by making one button and then copying it, it saves us a bunch of time because our captions and our colors are all set up to what we want. So I'll hit apply. So there we have our main buttons. And then we also have a latched push button for the log data button. So when we log data in the system, we want to have a button that latches and holds that state. So we need to make a latched push button for the log data. States of 0 and 1 is fine. That's what we want it to be. And for each of those states, we want to create text, so the one will be um, log data. And the zero will be log data. And then we'll just change the color of each one so that when it's selected, When the button selected it'll be darker like that and I will change the size of the text to make it a little bigger to whatever you like so again bold and 22 apply so that way the same text is on the button when it's logging data we could have different text in each case if we want and then the error um, is blue but we could switch that to a red if we want if there's a problem with the communication tag that we assign to that button an error will show up here in red because we set it up that way so now we have all of our basic buttons set up I'm just going to select them all again and set the spacing. So arrange them so they look good and then we are set to make our next section which is setting all the main panels. So, we want to save all of our changes. We'll just hit um, save. And we want this new component to be main panels. Okay. So we now have a new main panel within global objects that contains all of this data that we have set up. This isn't quite done yet, but it will be We'll finish up that setup and connection and setting our displays to interact with our global object main panel. So that will be next.